Hello and welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Well, now we are tracking some international updates from the Middle East where the situation is getting tense after every escalation. Now, the shadow war between Iran and Israel has escalated dramatically with Iran launching its first direct attack on Israel firing nearly 200 ballistic missiles at major cities including Tel Aviv and Jerusalem as well as military bases in the Negev district desert. Now the implications are enormous and the question now looms how will Israel respond? Will they target Iran's nuclear facilities or focus on its top leadership. Now, the nature of Israel's response will shape the future course of this conflict. Meanwhile, the Israeli Defense Forces have reported the death of seven soldiers during a ground operation against the Hezbollah in Lebanon. Now, this comes amid heightened tensions as the Indian government expresses serious concerns over the safety of its missions and diplomats abroad, particularly in Lebanon, Tehran and Tel Aviv. Well, Guyanese spokesperson of the Israeli embassy in India stated that embassies worldwide are enhancing security measures to ensure the safety of diplomats amid the escalating situations. What is the security arrangement of Israeli establishments worldwide, including here in India? In fact, uh, Israeli embassies and consulates have uh, witnessed attacks and uh, and, you know, uh, the blast in their vicinity many times in the past. So has the security been beefed up? Are you people taking extra measures, precaution in these uh, critical times? Yes. So the security is being uh, very cautious, okay. I, can, I can say, and making sure that we all know what, uh, what and where and uh, how to operate in case there is an, uh, an emergency. I can't okay. give exact information over security reasons about what's uh, happening and what the precautions we're taking, but uh, we're very much aware here and in other embassies and consulates uh, around the world to, to prevent from uh, anything dangerous to happen to any of the diplomats. Okay. Guy, also, uh, Iran has chosen to attack Israel during this auspicious week of Jewish New Year. How do you take this, uh, 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 this particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, timing, timing, especially if you talk about the timing in which Iran has attacked uh, Israel? Okay, so Iran made a great decision, one that they will need to uh, learn the hard way how uh, we, we retaliate. Yesterday, they have launched a massive attack at Israel, firing over 180 ballistic missiles towards Israeli territory focusing on civilian infrastructure and homes. And uh, we, Iran will need to pay for its action. I, I, Iran will, has to be internationally condemned and uh, condoned and uh, sanctioned to prevent them from destabilizing the entire region. Okay, what's going to be the next move of Israel? I think that you find that the Israeli IDF is very smart. Okay. And I can't, I can't uh, disclose any specific information because we want to keep uh, our opportunity to surprise our enemy, right? But okay. we are very thankful for the international community for standing, for continuing to stand uh, with us against the threat this Iranian-backed terror axis is creating, threatening to uh, destabilize the, the entire region. Exactly what action the IDF is going to do, I, I will uh, keep you posted. But action will take place. Can you confirm that? There will be a reaction to what has happened last night, yes. Well, this breaking input is also relevant to the ongoing escalation after escalation on the ground in Middle East. Now, after eight Israeli troops killed in Lebanon, Israel has now intensified attack on Lebanon, Beirut and bombed as Hezbollah battles Israeli army. These are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground. Remember, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to retaliate against Iran after it fired about 200 ballistic missiles at Israel. Now, Iran had fired ballistic missiles in retaliation to killing of Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah, uh, amplifying tensions in the Middle East that are increasingly marked by escalation after escalation. These are the latest inputs that we are tracking at this point of time, where uh, Israel has now intensified the attack. Joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Sidhant. A very good morning, Sidhant. What more details are we gathering from the ground at this point of time? 
well uh, uh you know israel uh, is fighting a, mun- a multi frontal war uh, right now and uh, uh, in fact uh, president biden uh, joined the call with the g7 uh, group to discuss iran's uh, attack against uh, israel and uh, uh, president biden ag- again reaffirmed uh, united states ironclad support uh, for israel but uh, uh, even some reports also say that biden has said that he wouldn't support a strike on iranian nuclear site as israel promises response to uh, ballistic missile uh, so tension still exists uh, in the middle east amit saw this uh, uh, the iranian president pezishkin uh, lands in doha uh, in fact he thanked the government of uh, qatar uh, to me uh, to push uh, to give effort to uh, peace talks so on one end where uh, israel is preparing for a response on the other end uh, iran is pushing uh, for talks because iran doesn't want uh, uh, israel to respond because na- since the ball is now in israel's court iran is worried for it, its own people uh, because the kind of air defense system a uh, david sling arrow and and you know iron dome that israel has to protect its citizens iran doesn't have so uh, you know in case israel does the similar thing then you know it would be devastating uh, in iran so after uh, uh, you know attacking israel mm-hmm. iran is perhaps uh, pushing for talks and this is the reason that pezishkin was in qatar uh, uh, you know for the talks and in fact he thanked the government of doha in fact he said that that uh, iran doesn't want war uh, and what uh, iran did uh, was a retaliation to uh, to the things that israel have been doing and since it was piling up Uh, so that is kind of an uh, uh, kind of uh, you know statement that uh, pezishkin made is speaking to media uh, in doha the tension uh, is uh, uh, the situation is still tensed in the middle east right. uh, israel is also uh, doing ground invasion in lebanon uh, southern lebanon there also you know the israeli forces are facing a lot of uh, a uh, trouble uh, getting inside the lebanon because of the constant attack that they are facing from the hezbollah uh, commanders uh, and so you know it's a multi frontal war situation for uh, for for israel and let's see what uh, what uh, happens today in this uh, war Right, Sadan, thank you so much for bringing in all those details. I'll request you to stay with us on the broadcast as we have another breaking input relevant to the entire situation getting tense in the region. Now, this time, the updates we are getting in from the United States where Joe Biden has now said that he wouldn't support a strike on Iranian nuclear sites as Israel promises response. response to ballistic missiles attack and now he says in his response should be proportional these are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground and siddhant continues to be uh, continues to stay with us on the broadcast siddhant we're getting a word from united states where uh, joe biden the us president has said that he wouldn't support any kind of a strike on iranian nuclear sites how do we perceive this and how will israel respond to this well us has full support uh, uh, israel has full support of united states there's no doubt about it both Indeed. politically and militarily and in fact uh, you know us uh, uh, has uh, is perhaps assisting israel uh, in uh, uh, in in preparing for the response to the iranian missile uh, attack and uh, you know uh, uh, there's an ironclad support as president biden always say uh, for israel Uh, but uh, you know now president biden has also said that if israel is planning to attack uh, the iranian nuclear site then uh, there is a big no to it and and perhaps that's the that's the united states government's position uh, on on attacking iranian uh, nuclear site because you see the uh, us also understands the repercussion of that at the same time there's a lot of pressure from the g7 countries Uh, and united states because uh, everyone wants uh, uh, ceasefire in the middle east uh, uh, you know they want iran to be to be held accountable for what's happening but at the same time they also want a uh, uh, ceasefire they want uh, the, the war to end and perhaps uh, if us is supporting I- I- israel on one end then on the other end 
US is also uh, demanding ceasefire and pushing for a ceasefire in the Middle East. Right, Satan. Thank you so much for bringing in all those details. Well, clearly it's escalation after escalation, keeping the entire West Asia region in tension. Now, Amit Halevi, member of the Israeli Senate, speaks to CNN News 18. Let's listen in. You know, uh, all eyes are on what Israel is going to do next. I understand these are not details that would be divulged on uh, television. These are perhaps being discussed in the power corridors of Israel. But what is it that Israel is looking to do next? I think that uh, what we all need to look for now is to actually to overthrow the Ayatollah regime. I think this is, should be the discourse, the international discourse. This should be the goal of our operation and uh, we need to join forces with all the free world because this regime is not only threatening the israeli uh, country but also the whole world and uh, that's why the goal the strategic goal must be overthrowing this regime not only in lebanon actually iran took over lebanon as you know for many years and concord actually all south lebanon but actually the uh, lebanon at all so uh, we need uh, Israel cannot uh, allow us cannot afford itself anymore this uh, now neo Nazi regime uh, on its border in its border on its border and it, and in our neighborhood anymore. Well, as tensions simmer, global leaders scramble for a resolution. And we'll continue to get you all the latest news and updates here on CNN News 18. Till then. Stay informed and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.